A death in the family is one of the most trying times many of us will ever go through, which is why we put so much trust into the people who handle our loved ones' remains. But Melissa Pelletier says that trust was violated by affordable cremation solution, where she says her father's body was left for three weeks unrefrigerated and decomposing before another funeral home picked him up. And a report from the state board that regulates the funeral industry says she is not alone. New Center Maine's Rosalind Flaherty has more. They found him in a bag just decomposing, just sitting there rotten. Melissa Pelletier says her dad's body was left unrefrigerated at Affordable Cremation Solution in Lewiston. It was a nightmare. It's like a scary movie. The cremation business is now shut down. The state suspended the company's license and that of owner Ken Kinser indefinitely after an investigator says he found 11 other bodies at the crematory unrefrigerated. The main board of funeral services started investigating the business in April after complaints from families wanting back their loved ones remains. According to this report to the board, during an initial visit inside the crematory in April, the investigator did see five bodies in temporary unrefrigerated storage. Kinser told him he had been ill, which was why the bodies had not been cremated. Then in June, the investigator went back to Affordable Cremation Solution to follow up on more complaints. It was then that he noticed an odor of decomposition strong enough to give him a headache and 11 unrefrigerated bodies, 10 in body bags, one in an unsealed box. The investigator also saw reddish brown fluid on the floor that appeared to be flowing into the drain. I just got the chills and got disgusted in my stomach. Pelletier says her dad, Mike, died on May 6th and says Kinser picked up his body from a local hospital the day after. She says after a tough time getting in touch with him, she had another business get her dad's body nearly three weeks later. I think that it's disgusting and that that guy should not get away with it. She now wants Kinser to lose his license permanently and to face charges. No matter what he gets, it's not going to fix what happened to all of us, to all of us families. It's not going to make us feel like we can just, you know, we can't take everything back. We can't, we can't, he can't fix no matter what everything he done did, but I think that he should pay. Rosalind Flaherty, New Center, Maine. Pelletier says she never made a payment to Kinser. We tried to contact him ourselves, but have not heard back from him.